the House of Representatives has come up with a resolution that will compel the federal government to approve firearms for local vigilantes to aid the fight against insurgency, banditry and kidnapping in the country. The resolution, amongst others, followed a motion of urgent national importance on the sorry state of insecurity in the country, especially the recent adoption of a traditional ruler in Plateau State. The Green Chamber also urged the federal government to direct the Inspector General of Police Chief of Defence Staff and other relevant security agencies to immediately do everything possible to ensure the safe release of the district head of Panyan and others in kidnappers' captivity across the country. The report. Insecurity has become an everyday occurrence in the country as no day passes without news of one kidnapping or the other. The recent adoption of a traditional ruler by armed bandit in Plateau State seems to have triggered wild condemnation by federal lawmakers in the Green Chamber. Solomon Marin brought the motion on the kidnapping of the traditional ruler from Plateau, His Royal Highness Aminu Darwan, by heavily armed bandits who were shooting indiscriminately in the early hours of Monday. He called on the House to summon the Inspector General of Police, the Army, as well as other relevant security agencies to find out why this trend has continued unabated. Early this year, the Sumpiam, a paramount ruler of Gendri Chiefdom, and the district head of Pushit were both at separate attacks abducted by miscreants and bandits, which were, uh, however, released after huge ransom were paid. Further aware that bandits have taken their dastard acts to highways, villages, and even cities, including some parts of the federal capital territory. Concerned that the spread of kidnapping, abductions, and attacks has been systematic, well coordinated, and targeted across the constituency, the state, and indeed the country, which is alarming and of grave concern. Federal lawmakers, while condemning the attacks as well as the state of insecurity in the country in general, also made some amendments to the motion. There is nothing that will happen. I have it here in my hands. At times they give the direction and even where they are meeting. But it's the implementing agency, we, we, even if you are going to recruit entire villages now and give them this light arm, arms, somebody carrying an arm, uh, a, a, a gun that can discharge a hundred bullets in, a, in, in one round, how will you face him? A keep seven. How will you face him? One life matters a lot. I, I shouldn't disclose possibly certain things, but because of what you said, I'm telling you sincerely, our people are committed. We have lost a number of them. They are not worried because they are defending their land. The Borno model that I want to recommend for the state governments in the various affected states to equally fund and support is the formation of a very robust vigilante groups that are going to be armed, not necessarily with uh, sophisticated weapons like, uh, like AK-47, with pump action guns. The motion was unanimously adopted when it was put to vote by the Speaker, Honorable Femi Gbajabia Mila, at plenary. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.